Welcome back, MG fam, to another episode of the Texas Southern Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. If you ain't already a part of the MG fam, hit that subscribe button right now, baby. And we about to get to it. So you already know, it's time. Time for the championship game. First ever in Texas Southern history. But first, we're going to check out what happened between Georgia Tech and Arkansas in the Final Four. You know what happened to us. We was able to take out Louisville and march on into the championship game. So Georgia Tech and Arkansas, tight game in the first half, but the second half Georgia Tech took care of these guys, beating them by 12 points to end the game with an 88-75 victory. And the star player on Georgia Tech was Michael Patterson, 18 points. And the second leading scorer is Jared Edwards, 16 points from him and Jonathan McPherson. And it looked like these guys have a great three-point shooting team. And our hands will be full on that perimeter, so we're going to have to play great defense. But now, the moment is here. Coach McGruff, biggest test yet. It's been a perfect season so far, but we still have one task at hand. And we're about to get to it, baby. Let's go. The time is now, baby. You already know. Sold out crowd, the championship game. 38-0. Texas Southern versus 30 and 7 Georgia Tech both teams have been waiting for this moment all their lives and we got to come out here on top baby the first HBCU to make it to the final four and we're going to be the first HBCU to take home a championship so a nice veteran lineup they have here led by Jared Edwards the small forward that kid is going to be out here trying to make things happen for this team so tip-off is here. We already know what time it is, baby. Let's get it. The ref is at the top. He's going to put it up. And it's on, baby. The final four, the championship game is here. And Chapman, the freshman, is going to come out with a pick and roll here early. Try to get to the lane. Nice defense there. Get it down to the post to Big Al. No room. Gives it to Chapman behind the back. Bassey, man, pretty good stout defense. Caught him slipping and gets blocked on the first possession. Both teams are looking to get something going here. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys go. So all the way to the paint, and he misses that one with some contact. Look like the referee's going to let us play today, baby. And Newman pulls a three with a hand in his face. Oh, my God. You already know what time it is. So he's pulling a three himself, misses that one, we got the board. We're up by five right now, looking like we can take control of this game early. And look at Newman, pulls, oh, pump fake, kicks it back. Chapman. Albert down in the post, look at Newman, pulls another three, knocks it down. This guy's feeling it, the hot hand is here. Number 14 has that at the top. Throws it up in the air and caught a slipping. He misses that one. He panicked at the rim. And Chapman is pushing the floor. You already know who he's looking for. Bassey can't find anything. Newman is in the corner. Big Al down in the low block. Can we get him? Nope. Bassey in the corner. Pulls a deep three. Knocks it down, baby. The three-pointers are flying here. So number zero has it here on the corner. Kicks it down bottom. Man, he threw that pass between the big man's legs. 11 to 4 right now. They try to call a little play. Pull a three-pointer. Nice little shot there. He hits the three. They're back in it. So we're going to have to be patient today, man. We can't make too many mistakes against this Georgia Tech team. Look at Albert on the low block. Got him, baby. Nice drop step. Big dunk there. And in the corner. He's going to the paint with contact. Misses that one, and we got a chance to go all to the races. Albert is pushing it all the way, baby. And a one-handed jam. Man, one of the best athletic big men in the league. Nice little contact there. He misses that one, and we're attacking that defensive glass. Chapman can't find his way to the lane. Kicks that one to Newman. Big Al caught him slipping. He goes up with the contact, misses that one, and they're going. One on one here. Can we get back on D? Ooh, kicks it down. Nice little layup there. Bassy almost pulled one deep. Kicks it to Albert. Try to post him up here. Look at Soto. Nice pass from the big man. Able to lay that one in there. 
11 minutes left in the first half. We're putting in some work against Georgia Tech, baby. We're looking like we belong here in the championship game. And in the corner is Newman. Bang. Big shot there. Nine points for him here early. Nice little hezzy there. Takes to the lane, gets blocked, but they get the rebound back and able to put it in. Number 34 is out here letting us know he's a baller. Nice little pick and roll. Look at Soto. Able to catch one with a two-handed jam. Six points for him. Double team here almost at half court. He's going to dribble out of it. Steps back. And he pulls a midi. Number 24 knocks that one down. Chapman trying to create something on offense. And they robbed my boy Chapman. And Postel got it here. Big dunk there. Six points for him to start the game. And we got a hands on it there, but a double team. And number 24 gets to the lane. Easily made that one in there. No defense from anyone. And my boy Buckley pulls a three. Knocks it down. His first shot goes in. He pulls one to respond, and he misses that one. And Big Buckley is going the other way. You know that famous step back? Pulls it, knocks it down. He has been a great asset to us off the bench this year. He kicks it down bottom. A lot of defense there, so we got... Oh, nice little tip in. I thought we had the rebound. So we're down by two here with only two minutes left in the first half. Georgia Tech saying, hey... We're not going home without a victory. It's all or nothing here. And he misses that free throw. And Chapman goes to the lane, takes the contact, misses it, but Albert cleans it up. And he knocks it in, baby. Got the game tied up here with 34 to 34. And at the three-point line, you know they're going to kick it over there to Jared Edwards. And they do, but he kicks it to the corner. And the big man pulls a three, and he misses that one way off. And Newman is going the other way. Can we take the lead here? Kicks it to Augustine. Deep one. Knocks it down, baby. Easy bucket. So 42 seconds left. Nice little use of the pick. Fakes us out and puts it up, man. Great use of the pump fake. Down bottom, Augustine can get us another big basket. Kicks it to Chapman. Deep one, misses that. 20 seconds left. We believe they're going to hold it for the last shot. Oh, they pushing the issue. And a nice pass, nice layup. He needled that one in there. So 10 seconds left. We're going to use it here, bro. We're going to use up all of the time on the clock and try to take the lead before half. Nice little pick. Fader, Chapman, and it rims out at the buzzer. So we're going to go into the second half down by one. Not bad, but we're going to have to take control of this game. We cannot afford to, you know, have any more slip-ups. We've been turning the ball over a lot in the first half, missing a lot of key shots, and we got to play better defense on that fast break. So as you can see, the leading scorers, my boy Newman has nine points in the first half, and Walker on their side had nine points. So we're able to force turnovers. We spread in the attack. And we're attacking immediately. But these guys are killing us on the boards. So here in the second half, Edwards has it here. Bad pass. And we got a break going here early. And Newman, do not pass it out. He lays it up against two defenders. And that's a basket, baby. Easy buckets for us. Let's go. And he pulls one from the mid-range, and they're able to get the lead back. There's a lot of back-and-forth action going on right now. Will this be the first game we lose in the championship game? This will be a heartbreaker. And he kicks it down bottom to Jarrett, and he knocks it in. Somehow, we're going to have to pull away from the squad if we want to win this one. My boy Newman steps back, goes behind the back, takes it. Oh, all the contact in the world, and he's able to lay that one in there. So we're going to let my boy Newman take over here. Newman trying to find his way into the lane. Kicks it over to Albert. Albert kicks it back to Newman. Two guys burns him. That's what I'm talking about. Got to be the player of the year. So Edwards trying to find his way into the lane, man. He's not giving up on his squad. And he pulled one with two, what? Two hands in his face, and he pulled it and knocks it down. 
in the corner, Newman. Oh, he trying to he trying to bait him, bait him, Newman. Jab step, kicks to chap. D1 knocks it down, baby. Look at Newman. Newman drawing double teams, allowing other players to get open. And Edwards taking it full court. Nice layup. Able to finger roll it off the backboard. Look at Newman up top. Triple threat. He's going to ISO these guys out. Newman calling for the ISO. Everybody spread the floor. Oh, took him off the dribble, the blow by, and the layup. Beautiful for Newman, man. That guy is unstoppable. All right, number one trying to take Newman to the lane. And he gets the contact with an and one. He's coming alive in the second half. He's a senior, Cameron Stewart. He's out here banging with Newman. He said Newman trying to show him up. The freshman versus the senior is going to be a key matchup for the rest of this game. So up by one is Georgia Tech. Three-pointer, knocks it down. And look at that boy, McPherson. He answers back for with a three of his own. Bassey. Kicks it to Newman. Newman caught him slipping. Oh, I thought he was going to make that one, man. Had me holding my breath. And look at Edwards. He's going full court again. And he lays it up in another basket. These guys are pulling away against us, man. Come on, D. We got to get on it. And we got a hands-on one this time. And push it. Newman going the other way. You know they're going to give you that room on that three-pointer. He pulls it quick trigger and knocks it down. Double team is here. Can we get our hands on it? Let's try to slow him down. On the right side. Gets it to number two. Misses that one. A big blunder for the offense. And we're pushing it. You can see my boy Newman up there. Too much room. Bang, cha-ching. What else you can ask for? This guy got us in the league. Again, the double team is here. Forced him to turn it over. He tried to dribble out of it. Can we get him trapped? Ooh, caught him slipping. Got the ball back. Newman kicks it to Chapman. Lay up. And we're up, baby, by three points. And he kisses the Albert here. And look at Newman. Fade away. Boy, the fella is on fire. Well, they got the hands in the passing lanes that time. But Chapman. Oh, we almost loses that one. Augustine gets it back and lays it up. Boy, we got saved by the bell that time. Only up by one here. Five minutes and 57 seconds left. Kicks it to the lane. Go up and under and use my boy Numa. The size differential killed us there. What can we do, baby? What can we do? We need to get it into the hands of one of our best players. Bassy in the corner. You see Chapman up top, baby. He's one of our best three-point shooters, and he lines it up and knocks it down. So you can see the player comparison, man. Cameron Stewart came alive in the second half, but Newman has lost it. He's got 28 points, knocking down six three-pointers. Almost 50% from the three-point line, and he pulls one, misses that one, but they get the rebound. We block it, and that's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at my boy McPherson pushing it, pushing the issue. Behind the back, can't get anything from there. Kicks it to Albert. Albert. Trying to go in the paint and box him out, but nothing is there. McPherson pulls a three and knocks it down, baby. Teamwork, baby. That's what we need. Step back. Going to the lane. We let that guy get that easy basket there, man. Only up by two, man. This game is going down to the wire. We're going to have to try to get something established to pull away. Pick and roll there. McPherson. Passes it to my boy Newman. Newman caught him slipping. An easy finger roll there. Boy, that boy is smart, bro. I'm telling you. Vilma gets the steal. Loses the pass there. And Elwes got it to go the other way. And he posterized my boy Newman. Up by two. Look at my boy Newman. Too much room. What you want him? Might as well just give it to him, baby. Newman once again. Oh, jabbing. Two guys on him. He ain't scared of him. Man, kick it over there to McPherson. Wide open in the corner. What is wrong with the defense? Too much focus on my boy Newman. Pump faking. Look at him. Y'all going to bring the double team? They bringing it. And they following my guy now, man. You know what time it is when they start following him. That mean the fat lady is about the same. We almost up by 10 points. We're going to keep it in the hands of Newman. Let them foul the boy. Send him to the line. Newman has 33 points. Two for two from the free throw line. And a great game from the floor. He took over this game in the second half. And he misses the free throws. 
And they're going to call a timeout. So they're going to try to get this thing back. They're going to try to knock down a three-pointer, put them within six. But we're going to play some pretty good defense. Trying to find his way into the lane. He's going to pull it back out. They're eating up a lot of clock here. Don't know what they're trying to do. And it's an offensive foul on number zero, Walker there. He's having a rough second half. And this has got to be it, bro. This got to be it. They're going to start fouling Newman. And that's going to send him back to the line once again. Elmo Newman, baby. Handling his business. The freshman came to play on the biggest stage. And he misses another free throw. Come on, man. We know you've been playing pretty well. We know you're tired. Just knock down some free throws to ice this game. So Walker is pushing the issue again, trying to get the ball up court. Edwards. And they lose this one. We save it, and we're going all the way, baby. Great defensive effort from the two guys, Bassey and Chapman. That got to do it there. And Chapman is actually one of our best free throw shooters, even though he's shooting 66% here in the tournament. And the young boy had a lot of butterflies in his stomach. And he knocks it down. After Newman missing two of them, my boy had Chapman able to ice these guys. Up by nine here. Only 30 seconds left. I don't know if they can shoot three three-pointers. If we hit Delson, the game is for sure over. And that's it, baby. Ten-point lead. With only 30 seconds left, we're going to let them run the clock out. The double team is here. See if we can get these guys. And he loses the ball there. And he fouls them again. He's fouled out. Garth Walker has fouled out. And that's it, baby. We're going to just hold it here. Four seconds left. Two, one. And the Texas Southern Tigers are your NCAA champions, bro. It's been a long ride. Three seasons. I appreciate all you guys for riding with Coach McGraw. You know we were going to get here, but we didn't know when. Newman, 33 points, three rebounds. It took only one, one recruiting class like the recruiting class we had last year to take the team over the top. We knew we were there with the coaching and touch of Coach McGraw. Just needed those right key players, and I believe Chapman and Newman came into the program at the right time with the foundation we already built. And now we're tearing down the nets, hoisting the trophy, and it's on. Take Southern, the first ever HBCU national champions in the NCAA, man. It's been a great ride. It's a lot of memories here, man, a lot of memories. And this is how we want to go out. We want to go out in the sunset, baby. So this is going to be the final video of the series. So let's check out the stats. Newman, 33 points, took over the game by himself. He had assistance from other players, but he said, hey, coach, this is my time to shine. I owe it all to the squad. I've been having a rough tournament, but I'm able to step up here in the final four, put the team on my back, and give them 33 points. When the game was hanging in the balance, he was able to come out and take it in his own hands and get something going. And Augustine off the bench. He was one of our premier freshmen from last year. Came in the second year, took a back seat to the freshman Albert, and still gave us quality minutes, didn't give us a headache or anything about playing time. And also Chapman, man, the young bull, stepped up, helped my boy Newman in the backcourt, able to get things going. And on their side of things, Garth Walker was able to get 18 points, but he fouled out there late. One of their best players in the backcourt. He been going crazy all game, and Cameron Stewart, Give my boy Newman some fits on defense. And Jared Edwards was able to get 16 points also. But they didn't have that one player that could take over the whole game like Newman, bro. Newman took over the whole game and handled his business. But with all of that being said, we're going to go on and just recap what happened in this series and how things been going. So here, you can see the 09 year. We went 24-10. and 10, And we were still in the swag at this moment. The conference record, we were 11-7, finished fourth in the conference, and we won one game against that top 25 school. One of the most viewed videos of this series got me up to like 7K or 8K right now in this moment that kind of jumped off this series for me and my YouTube channel. We beat Michigan State, and man, that was a great victory for us. We finished the season ranked 80th 
and things was going pretty good. I seen from there, I said, hey, man, it's a great little foundation. We only had eight players on the team at that time. Buckley led the team in points. Roy is still on the team. Led the team in rebounds. McPherson, 1.8 on assists. So a lot of these players were young. We didn't lose a lot. But the guy that I give all of the credit to for starting this thing off is my boy Kenneth Godfrey. If you go to season one, this kid laid down a foundation. Him and Buckley together had some great runs. The small fort, he's number one, man. He was doing his thing. He was a senior. He helped put this team on his back and got us all the way to the second round with only eight players. In our second year, we were able to finish the season at 20 and 13. It was kind of a mediocre season. We were trying to transition from losing one of our best players in Kenneth Godfrey and bringing in some young recruits. We were able to finish the conference at 9 and 7 and third place in the regular season. But we were able to win the conference tournament, getting us an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. And we got knocked out in the first round by Duke. It was a hard fought game. It was a hard fought game. And Buckley led the team in scoring this year also, but it dropped two points because we were trying to incorporate some new players and find a new identity of the squad because we lost Godfrey the year before. And Soto, a nice freshman, came in and gave us eight rebounds per game. And McPherson took over the point guard role that year and got a 6.8 assists per game. We were starting to facilitate the ball a lot more, and Buckley stepped up on the defensive side of the ball, and we did a lot of great things. But this year was the year that changed everything. First starting off, we had one of the best recruiting classes in school history, one of the top recruiting classes ever, and we end up going 39-0 as you guys know. Our winning percentage, 100%, 16-0 in the conference, first place in the Mountain West, baby. 23-0. 5-0 versus top 25 teams and we ended the final poll ranking at number 7 the best freshman I believe we ever got that I ever had in NCAA basketball 10 has to be Elmo Newman ended the season with a 20.6 average bro took over the starting lineup immediately from the first game of the season and Soto coming in as a sophomore Taking a back seat with scoring and helping us get double digit rebounds with 11.3. And Newman handled the point guard role almost. Averaging 5.3 had more than the point guard. And Chapman locking down guys on the perimeter. Another freshman, 1.3 steals per game. So now let's look at Coach McGruff's stats. You already know the records 24 and 10, 20 and 13, 39 and 0. He ends his career with 83 wins and only 23 losses, 39 and 11 at home, and 44 and 12 on the road, 36 and 14 in the conference, that's just great bro, this guy got more wins on the road than he do at home man, his winning percentage is almost the same on the road and at home, I would like to see what Coach McGuff does with another basketball program here in the future, but right now he's done all he can do at Texas Southern man. Things been great while it lasted, but we're going to have to chalk it up to the gods. Three years, one national championship. That was a quick rebuild. Having some of the best players ever. I don't know where his next stop is going to be. I'm going to allow you guys to choose it. HBCUs, hey, that's what we're doing, baby. Holla at your boy, Coach McGruff. We out, baby. I appreciate all of the support with this series. But now, baby, it's on to bigger and better things. Let's get it.